Ito ay remote control ng mamurahing light strip. Ito naman ay remote control ng mamurahing solar ceiling lamp. At ito ay remote control ng isang popular na diffuser ng essential oil. Ang tatlong ito ay gumagamit ng IR or infrared signal kung gaya't matuturing itong mga IR blasters, lumang teknolohiya na ito at walang smart capabilities at walang smart capabilities but wait, pwede natin gawing smart ang mga remote controls na ito. Wow! Kung papaano, panoorin nyo ang video ito, mag-subscribe para masubaybayan ang mga bagong video sa aking channel. Ang nakakaiba ng tatlong ito sa ibang remote controls tulad ng para sa TV, para sa air conditioning unit or electric fans, ito'y walang mga brand kasi mga generic devices to na gawang China. But still, you can add this to an IR smart control automation. I have a previous video explaining the how and why of an IR smart automation. Panoorin nyo ang video ito. Ang smart IR controller ay isa ring IR blaster but it has a smart capability meaning it can interact with other smart devices in our homes. So instead of using the remote control, ito na ang mag-command sa ating mga appliances or devices and because of that, kailangan ang smart IR controller ay nasa tamang lugar. Ilagay nyo sa area na makikita niya lahat ng mga appliances na kinocontrol niya. And tuliin nyo ang smart IR control na marami ang sensors tulad nito. This is round at it has sensors all around. Kaya hindi lang covered niya ang aking TV na nasa living room at nasa harap niya. Kitang-kita rin niya yung uh, diffuser na nasa bandang mababa niya. And also sa kanyang likuran, nakikita rin niya yung uh, stand fan na nasa dining room at saka yung panel lights na nasa kabilang side. Infrared signal travels only at a maximum of 10 to 12 meters and without obstruction sa harap niya. The smart IR control can be manually navigated using our phone by means of an app or we can automate available functions using the app. Maraming smart IR controllers available online na gumagamit ng iba't ibang apps tulad ng dalawang ito. Ito ay gumagamit ng Tuya platform at lahat ng apps based on Tuya can add these smart IR controllers. Xiaomi has tried to incorporate smart IR control to one of its products, a smart speaker. Using this Tuya based smart IR controller, you can add ordinary IR remote controls in three ways. Um Kung ang appliance mo ay branded tulad nitong air conditioning unit from Panasonic, mas madali itong i-add sa smart IR controller kasi you can use the first method which is the finding the list of appliance according to brands. So mas, mas, madali, mas madali siya. And I'm going to use this smart IR clock for this purpose. Kailangan mo lang iharap ang uh, smart IR clock to the air conditioning unit kasi ang kanyang uh, IR sensor nito ay nasa harapan lang dito lang siya. So on the Smart Life app na siya ang ginagamit ko for Tuya based devices, you open the Smart IR clock. Then makikita mo diyan may add sign, tap it to add the Panasonic AC remote control. And on the uh, add remote page, uh, Choose air that corresponds to the aircon. Look for the brand Panasonic. You can scroll down or just type Panasonic there. You can do the quick match. Point the smart IR controller to the AC, then tap on tap the on button on the app to match. So ganun lang ka simple. So try natin. I'll tap the I'll I. I'm pointing the smart IR clock to the air conditioning unit. Then I have to tap the on button on the app to match. Um, hindi siya nag on, so it means uh, it's not able to control. Another one. Tap again the button on the app. So, hindi pa rin. So, until makakita ka ng kamatch niya, pag mag-on yung air conditioning unit, it means nag-quick match tayo. 
Marami kasing model, so naghahanap siya what, mo, what model of the air conditioning unit ng Panasonic ang nagmatch. Kung hindi na talaga, then you can, we can use the manual mode. So wala talaga. Wala pa rin, so we try, we'll try the manual mode. So dun sa upper right hand corner, mababasa mo dyan, manual mode. So try natin ang manual mode. Ang manual mode ay magta-try tayo ng magmatch ng tatlong keys at least. Then, uh, kung magmatch siya, then... Uh, okay na, no? So, we try uh, Switch Wala siya, hindi na control Another one Hindi pa rin Yun So Tan control nag on na siya so nag match na siya so i'll tap okay so try natin uh, ito yung camera natin na ka 25 yan i transfer natin to o ibaba natin ang temperature from 25 to 26 meaning itaas yung ano figure but mababa ang temperature so, naging 26, 27. Tingnan natin sa camera para makikita nyo. Yun, nag-up na siya. Sa homepage ng Smart Life app, makikita na natin dito yung Panasonic Aircon na na-add natin. Uh, also, you can find it uh, inside the Smart IR Clock. Kasi nasa Smart IR Clock siya naka-attach or na-add natin. And unlike the ordinary remote controls, sabi ko, yung mga branded na mga um, remote controls ay makikita na rin doon sa Google Home kasi meron siyang support for Google, supported by Google siya. So kung pupuntahan natin yung Google Home, makikita natin dito sa Time Devices and dito na yung Panasonic Aircon. Although, yung controls niya is li are limited only to on and off. Pero dito sa... Google Nest Hub, kung pupuntahan natin, makikita natin ang Panasonic aircon dito. Marami na siyang controls. You can adjust the temperature, negative and positive. You have also the mode, auto, heat, cool, dry fan. And you can also, there are also other controls like power and swing. Para sa tatlo nating ordinary IR remote controls, you can add this to the smart IR controller manually. Para sa remote control ng aking LED light strip, I use the smart IR clock. Ito namang remote control ng solar seeding light from Nova, I use the smart IR round controller and also for the diffusers, remote control. Pariho lang ang paraan sa pag-add ng tatlong ordinary remote controls. Go to the app. In this case, I use Smart Life and the Smart IR Round Controller in adding the remote control of the solar ceiling lamp. Tap Add sa baba. On the Add Remote page, scroll down and choose DIY. On the Custom Learn page, scroll down again and choose Other. Tap Plus Sign to add button. And on the Remote Control of the ceiling lamp, tap the On button. Sa baba ng app, may nakalagay dyan, wait to receive data. Nagantay yan ang signal from the remote control while you press the on button. Then, nag-pop up ang message box telling us, learning succeed. Ibig sabihin niya, nakopya ng smart IR controller ang on function ng remote control ng ceiling lamp. Save that by naming it as on button. Then, tap again plus sign for the other buttons and follow same process until all buttons are copied. Tap finish at the upper right corner to exit, fill up the description page, and save. You can rename the device on the app like this by clicking the arrow to the right of the device name. I rename ko to, to diffuser. Okay. Save. Okay. And you can now start creating automation rules depending on your requirements. So I can uh, actually uh, add here, I'll uh, say I will set a schedule that every morning, let's say every 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to turn on tong, uh, diffuser. So that's daily. So 7 o'clock in the morning, so every day na siya. Next. Then schedule then. Yung task niya is add uh, control single device. Hanapin mo ang 
diffuser okay then you press the uh, you choose the on and off switch so you save it uh, you name it as diffuser on confirm yes so that's it I also created another automation you can read here diffuser light on so pagdating ng sunset automatic siyang mag-on yung light ng diffuser so while naka-function na yung diffuser pero off yung light niya the whole day kasi daytime so pagdating ng sunset automatic siyang mag-turn on yung light niya If you like home technology ideas and tricks, subscribe to this channel. Dekhan salamat. Ako si Jun Tariman, High Tech. Bye.